often these sorts of programs are found in academic medical centers. And they're in academic medical centers because of the sort of the, the proximity of the team, the resources. It takes a lot of resource to have a geriatric oncology program from a perspective of a multidisciplinary team doing comprehensive assessment. But in saying that, that can be scaled back. It doesn't have to be that big model. For a community cancer center, perhaps it's, it's a smaller version. Perhaps it's a nurse conducting components of the comprehensive assessment, trying to understand how people function at home, and have a proactive source of referral so that that cancer center knows when they detect problems with on-screening instruments, such as a functional status or perhaps a cognitive screen, that they're able now to refer that to a known source. That, that they've agreed to take the patients for further screening and diagnosis. So that can really, really play into all sorts of, of cancer centers. It just takes support of administration and it takes dedication from a lot of uh, providers to be able to um, continue and, and um, continue to, to make the team work. It does take a lot of dedication. Sustainability is critical with geriatric oncology.